Hey guys, um, today it's something a little bit different. Um, if you didn't know, I'm a big coin collector, and I'm a big fan of wheat pennies. So here I got some wheat pennies, wheat penny rolls, I should say, and I'm super excited. So I'm going to open these on camera for you, and I'm going to show you what's in them. And I just want to point out... When I was looking at them, I noticed this penny, this on the end, it's a beautiful wheat penny, beautiful. We'll see what that is, and then this end is just regular. Alright, so we might as well start with the one with the shiny one on the end. Okay, so... Let's see if I could get this open with my fingers. Okay, there we go. There. Well, I'm apparently I'm just ripping this off. All right. Ooh. We, ah, here's the shiny one on the end, and it is a nineteen fifty-eight. Uh, will that focus? Mm. Oh, pardon me, it's a 1957D. Here, maybe. Hold on. Will that work? Ah, that's better. There we go. Now you can see it. All right, let's see what else we have. Um, oh, here we have a steel penny, 1943D. They actually made them steel that year because um, there was a demand for copper during World War II. Oh, sorry about that. There was a demand for copper in World War II. They needed it. So, the mint needed to think of another metal to use. And steel, these, oh, here's another steel penny. Right here, 1943. These, some good stuff in these rolls. Oh, here we go. Here's an old, um, 1899 Indian cent. Um, so, that looks like it for this roll. There might be some 1909s in there, but I was just looking for that stuff. All right, moving on to the next roll. Set these aside. Okay, and then this, we have another roll, an old one on the end. It's a 1918. All right, so we'll just rip this one open as well. This might be a longer video. I still have two more rolls after this one. Ooh, I see a steel penny. Right here. Wow, it's in fairly nice condition. 1943 steel. Mm 
um, 13. I wonder if we, oh, here's an Indian. Wow, this is an old one. 1880. 1880. All right, we're doing good. Um, I don't see any other Indians or wheat or uh, not. There's a bunch of wheat or um, steels. So, yeah. I will also make a review on this video to, sh like, do a whole overview. I'm just doing the opening of the roll on this video. So I'll do a review of all of the uh, stuff that I got from these rolls. Any steels in this one? Uh huh. Here's a steel. And I think it's a steel. Yep. Steel, all right. 1943 steel. And there's also an Indian right off the bat. 1898. No, I I'm getting some older old coins here. Here's a 1912, and I I'm get, I'm looking. I'm just scanning over. I see 1915s, 1918s, 1919s, 1912s, 1910s, 1911s, 19. Ah, here's a 1910, second year of the Lincoln penny. All right, last roll. Hopefully, there's something good in here. Okay. And we'll just rip this one open as well. These are hard to rip. Oh, no, there we go. This is a different kind than the... Uh, at, like the normal kind, this one is like there's like the a little flap. The normal ones, uh, see no steels in this one. Uh, oh, here's a real dirty one. Somebody scratched it up. 1944. Um, 1911 pretty old. Oh, Indian, 1908. 19, 1929, pretty old. 1920-1940-1916-S. Well, I personally currently are, am a huge fan of wheat pennies right now. I, um, I'm interested in silver as well, um, but, I mean, I really like wheat pennies just thinking, like, that they're so old and you can get them for such a great deal, these, you know, so it's nice. Alright, well, that's basically it. I Like I said, I will do a review about all, like, what I got from those rolls. And until next video, bye.